viewers welcome to our new video in this video we will going to call human joints mcq so let's start the video which type of joint allows movement in all directions hang joint ball and socket joint pheoid joint gliding joint so the correct answer is option b ball and socket joint is a type of joint which allows movement in all directions which joint is responsible for the movement of the thumb? Pheoid joint, ball and socket joint, hang joint, saddle joint. So the correct answer is option D. Saddle joint is responsible for the movement of the thumb. The condition where joints become inflamed, causing pain and stiffness is known as osteoporosis, arthritis, osteoarthritis none of these so the correct answer is option b the condition where joints become inflamed causing pain and stiffness is known as arthritis the joint between the teeth and the jaw is a type of sinuoidal joint fibrous joint cartilaginous joint gomposis joint So the correct answer is option D. The joint between the teeth and the jaw is a type of gomphosis joint. The joint between the first two cervical vertebrae is a pheoid joint, ball and socket joint, hang joint, gliding joint. So the correct answer is option A. The joint between the first two cervical vertebrae is a pheoid joint. Which joint is crucial for allowing rotation of the head? Atlas axis joint, sinuoidal joint, hip joint, elbow joint. So the correct answer is option A. Atlas axis joint is crucial for allowing rotation of the head. The joint between the skull and the spine is an example of which type of joint? Fibrous joint, cartilaginous joint, sinuoidal joint, suture joint. So the correct answer is option C. The joint between the skull and the spine is an example of sinuoidal joint. The joint between the tibia and fibula in the lower leg is a sinuoidal joint, fibrous joint, cartilaginous joint, suture joint. So the correct answer is option B. The joint between the tibia and fibula in the lower leg is a fibrous joint. Which type of joint allows for the least amount of movement? Hang joint, ball and socket joint, pheoid joint, gliding joint. So the correct answer is option D. Gliding joint is a type of joint which allows for the least amount of movement. The intervertebral discs in the spine are an example of which type of joint? Fibrous joint, cartilaginous joint, sinuoidal joint, suture joint. So the correct answer is option B. The intervertebral discs in the spine are an example of cartilaginous joint. Which movement involves decreasing the angle between two bones? Plexion, extension, rotation, abduction. So the correct answer is option A. Plexion movement involves decreasing the angle between two bones. The joint between the femur and the tibia in the knee is an example of which type of joint? Hang joint, ball and soccer joint, Pheoid joint, gliding joint. So the correct answer is option A. The joint between the femur and the tibia in the knee is an example of hang joint. Which movement involves increasing the angle between two bones? Plexion, extension, rotation, adduction. So the correct answer is option B. Extension movement involves increasing the angle between two bones. 
The joint between the thumb and the wrist of the hand is an example of which type of joint? Hang joint, ball and socket joint, phyoid joint, saddle joint. So the correct answer is option D. The joint between the thumb and the wrist of the hand is an example of saddle joint. Which movement involves moving a body part away from the midline of the body? Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction. So the correct answer is option C. Abduction movement involves moving a body part away from the midline of the body. Which of the following is an example of a fibrous joint? Shoulder joint, elbow joint, sutures of the skull, hip joint. So the correct answer is option C. Sutures of the skull is an example of a fibrous joint. Which movement involves turning a body part around its own axis? Flexion, extension, rotation, abduction. So the correct answer is option C. Rotation movement involves turning a body part around its own axis. The movement of the thumb across the form to touch the fingertips is called a fusion, refusion, inversion, eversion. So the correct answer is option A. The movement of the thumb across the form to touch the fingertips is called a fusion. Which joint allows for movements in only one plane like bending and straightening? Hang joint, ball and socket joint, phyoid joint, gliding joint. So the correct answer is option A. Hang joint allows for the movement in only one plane like bending and straightening. The movement of the foot to point the toes downward is called dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion, inversion, eversion. So the correct answer is option B. The movement of the foot to find the toes downward is called plantar flexion. Thanks for watching. Subscribe MCQs1 for latest informative MCQs.